Welcome to the Big Three Fantasy Alarm TV. I'm your host, Frank Flowers. It's Friday. Let's talk some tight ends. Some good, some bad in the trio today. The first number of the day is 11, as the number of catches last week for Martellus Bennett of the Bears. He's going to be a big player again this week. He's got to have to be, because no one on that Bears team is healthy. Marquez Wilson's about the best option they have out wide right now. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey sounds like he's not going to play. Eddie Royal's questionable. Uh, he might play, but he's obviously not at 100%, not a big uh, threat the majority of the time he's on the field anyway. You look at that matchup uh, with the Chiefs. The Chiefs flying almost 300 passing yards a week, 2.75 touchdown passes as well. Jay Cutler's probably going to relentlessly target Bennett this week, a very strong play in week five. Second number today is 13, as in the number of targets last week to Charles Clay, and that number might continue, might be repeated in week five. We don't know if Sammy Watkins is going to play or not at this point. We know LaShawn McCoy won't play. It certainly looks like the concussion is going to knock Carlos Williams out of action. Booby Dixon isn't fully healthy either. It's going to be Heron who might lead this team in touches out of the backfield. Ugh. Yeah, Charles Clay is going to have to be the guy in the passing game, and he might be the player that's leaned on most heavily by Tyrod Taylor. He's got 100 yards or a touchdown in each of his last three games. A very solid play this week in number five. And then the final number of the day is three, as in the number of catches the last two games for Tyler Eifert. Ugh. He started out great with that huge effort, and since then it's been another disaster. Three catches in two games. He's averaging four targets the last three weeks. Those three games, not even three catches, 39 yards. He's been a nobody in the offense, unless he's getting in the end zone, which is something we haven't seen from him the last couple of games. Really hard to depend on him. The offense is going well. Andy Dalton's playing fantastic football right now. Four straight games with a QB rating of 115 or better. Early success with Eifert. Not a lot of it of late. Eifert kind of falling from the hopes that people had. Uh, maybe he can still be a top 10 play, obviously. There's a lot of up and down situations with the tight end spot. But consistency, not been part of his game to this point in 2015. Big three, Fantasy Alarm TV. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to visit us. FantasyAlarm.com. Free week five rankings. It's there for you. Take a look.